Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to automatically go to a specific sheet when you open the workbook. Now to do this, it's going to require a little bit of a macro, a little VBA, but for anyone watching who may be new to this, it's a very simple piece of VBA. It's going to be nice and simple. Now you can see on my screen as a demonstration, I've got a table of content sheet as number one, which I'm on at the moment, and I've got four other sheets uh, for Argentina, Germany, Singapore, and USA. So this is my example. I want to imagine that I've got this table of content sheet. That should be the primary sheet, the main source, the kind of switchboard, if you will, and then it jumps to the other sheets when needed. These other sheets are blank at the moment. We can just imagine they're full of data, full of good data. <laughs> but a table of content sheet is where I need it to go when we reopen this workbook. So what we're going to do is click on our developer tab at the top. If you do not have a developer tab, just right mouse click anywhere on your ribbon, customize the ribbon, and you can switch on developer with the checkbox on the right hand side. I already do, I will click on developer and click on Visual Basic on the far left. So this will open up our Visual Basic window. And yours will look something like this, if not the same. Let me get rid of this Locals window at the bottom. You probably would not have that on your screen. And what I've got is in the top left, I've got these Project Explorer. So I can see the sheets of my workbook and I can see the workbook itself as what they're called objects. Now I'm going to double click on the this workbook object. So it opens up a code window on the right for me. Now I'm going to write some code in the this workbook object because I want the code to be triggered when the workbook is opened. So it's going to happen on what we call an event of the workbook or a procedure of the workbook. Now at the top of the code window are two drop down lists. In the first drop down list, I will choose workbook. And as soon as I do that, second drop down list is open and a macro or a sub procedure has appeared running off the workbook open event. Don't worry if you don't have this option, explicit option at the top, not necessary. All we're going to do is write a real simple bit of code in here. Just going to create a bit of space for it and a bit of indentation. And I'm going to write worksheets opening bracket and in here I'm going to specify the name of the sheet and for me it's called TOC and I can see that on the left hand side as well I'll write that in my double inverted commas closing bracket dot activate and that's the line that we need that's all we need so on the trigger of the open of the workbook activate the TOC sheet now, if you wanted to take this a step further, you could go to a specific cell as well if you wanted to. And I could do that in the line below by simply typing range, opening bracket, and a very similar structure here. So in some inverted commas, I could, for example, type, and let me type B2, closing inverted commas, closing bracket, dot select. Now in my example, it doesn't really make much sense to go to a specific uh, cell because I've just got a bunch of hyperlinks to click on my talk sheet. But this is something that you might be interested in if you're watching this video. So go to a specific sheet, as, uh, sorry, spe specific cell <laughs> as well as the sheet. Okay, let's see this in action. Let me close down this Visual Basic window. That will take us back to our Excel sheet. And I will need to save this macro, save this workbook. So I'm just going to save this on my desktop as a macro enabled workbook because now I have this code in here. There it is saved. Let me jump to a sheet called Singapore and save that file. So when I close this, the last sheet I was on is Singapore. But when I open it, it should jump to the talk sheet because of that macro. 
So let me now go and close this sheet, this workbook even, and go and reopen it. The file, here we go into open, there's one macro enabled version. Let's give it a click. And I'm straight back to the talk sheet. I was prompted to enable my macros there, uh, which you may receive as well. Depends on the kind of security settings of uh, your laptop or uh, the business area you're in at the point of doing this. Uh, you may have to enable that. You may uh, you may not. You may not have macros enabled at all. But we will need a macro to create that that scenario, that, that task. And as soon as it is run, even though I left it on the Singapore sheet, I am taken directly to the top sheet. I hope you enjoyed that video and find it useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.